In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best spread defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. And like I said in this video, we're talking about the best defense that you can possibly run against the gun spread offense in Madden 21. And gun spread is the real deal. That's why we're going to be utilizing the nickel 335 wide defense. And if you want to get my entire defensive guide on the nickel 335 wide, you can get that in the description for just $15. We'll literally walk you step by step through how you can actually run the best defense in the entire game. We're going to teach you how to shut down every formation. We'll show you how to run match defense, zone defense, man defense, run defense, and blitzing defenses all in one package. So if you want to get that defensive guide, it's just 15 bucks in the description. It's a great way to support the channel. Now, uh, real quick, the coaching adjustments that you want to have set before you uh, go into this is you want to have your ball and air defense on play ball. Option defense, you want to have that on conservative. Flats, we want to put that on 30. Curl flats, we want to put that on 10. And hook curls, uh, we want to put that on five yards. This is my preferred zone drop cocktail. And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have in our audibles the Cook 4 Show 2 and the Mike Blitz 3. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we are in the 46th playbook. It's the best playbook in the entire game. And again, if you want to get my entire defensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video for just $15. Now, real quick, we've subbed in safeties at linebackers so we have the best personnel possible on the field and we're going to be coming out into cover four drop but we're typically going to be audibling down into the mic blitz three and the reason why we like to audible down the mic blitz three especially against the gun spread is because it puts our defense in a really good um, tactical position the linebackers are basically always threatening to be able to blitz and we can adjust them accordingly now that's the first adjustment the first thing we're going to do is we're going to always shift our defensive line to the right side just like this and crash them out we're going to move our user kind of right in this little area that way in case they run the ball um, if they run the ball here you know we're going to be able to have a pretty decent uh, run defense against this now the next thing i want to show you um, is how do we defend the pass well the best way that i have found to defend the pass especially against a gun spread style of offense is I actually like to play cover two on the short side of the field. So we're first and foremost, when we come out, we're going to shade coverage down. Almost every time we're going to shade coverage down, that way we can create a Mabel coverage. But we're going to create a cover two style defense on the left or on the right side of the field, uh, which is the short side. And then we're going to put a cover four on the left side. So as you see right here, uh, on the left side, we take our left side outside corner and we're going to hot route him and put him into an outside quarter. We're taking our left side safety, we're putting him in an inside quarter. And then from there, we put both linebackers in seat flats and we take the defensive end that's on the outside and we put him in a little bluff blitz. And what you're gonna see is this will pretty much stop almost everything that somebody will try to do uh, from this. You're gonna see that this defense will absolutely bag pretty much everything that anybody can do uh, from this specific offense. Let me go over the setup one more time. And you can do this from a cover four show too, but as you see right here, you notice how this linebacker kind of sits back here. Whenever you audible to Mike Blitz three, he comes down and he's available to blitz. The reason why this matters is if we don't put our linebacker, like if we just wanted to run something like this right here, we certainly could. And you'll see that we're gonna get pretty decent pressure and we're still gonna be able to have you know, pretty good coverage across the board. But anyways, let me go over the coverage one more time. So what we're doing is essentially we're creating a cover four Mabel coverage to the wide side of the field, to the left side, and then to the short side of the field on the right side, we're gonna create a cover two. So we're gonna audible to Mike Blitz three. We're gonna shift our defensive line to the right and crash them out. We're gonna shoot our coverage down just like this right here. We're gonna put both linebackers in seam flats. And then we're going to shift this cover shell and create a cover two on the right side by putting the right side safety in a deep half and the right side corner in a cloud flat, just like that right there. And then we're going to create a cover four on the left side. We take the outside corner and we put him in outside quarter. We take the left side safety, we put him in inside quarter. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the defensive end on the right side and we're gonna bluff blitz him. And what you're gonna see is like I said, this will literally just take away pretty much everything. I mean, there's not very much that they can throw with confidence. They can't get over the top on posts. 
They really can't bomb this coverage. It's really difficult for them to be able to bomb this coverage. One of the things they will try to do, and you'll notice that this plays really much better because you've hot routed it. One of the things that I've found is when you can hot route your setups in, it actually sometimes makes them play a little bit better. Uh, that's just my opinion, but uh, I've just seen it time and time again that you know my defense has played significantly better. Uh, four verticals is not really a concern. You'll see here on the right side, if we try to, the deep half is like the perfect zone for the short side of the field in my opinion, because it really does a good job of splitting both seams and makes it darn near impossible for them to be able to hit that. The other thing that you can do is, let's say you get in a position where um, you wanna put some pressure on them. If you just leave the linebackers blitzing, you're gonna see you're gonna get pretty good pressure uh, at your opponent. Now, I will say this about spread. One thing I will uh, admit to the spread offense uh, is the spread is a definitely a unique little bit of an offense in my opinion. Um, it's, it, it does have some really beneficial things um, if they work to quick games and things like that. Now, uh, how you can combat that as a defense is through utilizing uh, yellow zones. So what I, what I will do from time to time is we'll still run cover two on the short side, but essentially what we'll do is we have this coverage right here, and then on this right side, or uh, I apologize, on this left side here, we'll just drop a vertical hook. And when you do this combination right here, it's a little bit more of like a cover three cloud almost. Um, you could still do that cover four concept, but the reason why I like this is this is a little bit better for things like um, like Y stick, like little quick slants, little quick hitches. You're gonna have people dropping into those lanes. So that's another setup. So really there's two that I prefer. The first one is Mike Blitz three, like I said, where we create a cover two uh, and a cover four, and we basically are running essentially a Mabel coverage right on both sides of the field. So we're gonna make them have to take everything underneath. If they, our responsibility is pretty much right here. Like if we take this away, we're gonna pretty much take everything away. As you can see, there's really nothing open. they will probably have to chuck it deep. And that's where you can really make a, a, a useful play. And then the second thing that I like to do, um, if you wanted to, you could do something like this right here, where basically what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna play cover three and we're just gonna leverage the power of like some underneath coverages. Um, as you can see right here, we've got the slot manned up on the right side. The left side the slot's not gonna be able to get open. We could still play cover four if we wanted to, but we have a lot of better um, of an opportunity for like underneath coverage here. The outside third will typically come down and play some stuff as well. But those are two different options. The first one's what I'll stick with for the most part, unless they are really Dinkin' and Duncan. And if they are Dinkin' and Duncan, then I will shift into something like that. And again, um, for example, another, another thing, just wanna briefly um, explain this. Uh, let's say that, you know, they throw into the running back a lot, right? Well, what you can do is you can man up. You can pretty much wall off this entire side. So I could take, um, you know, I, I could create that, that cover two basically, but instead of putting the, instead of putting the cloud flat out, I could do something like this, right? So I could man up the running back with that outside corner. That'll take away any quick flats to the back. Then I could have this little purple zone over here for anything like uh, curls and things like that. I still have the three rec and then on this back side, I can still kind of stick with what I've been doing over there. Um, the reason why this would be important is if they're doing something like right there, like if they're doing something like that, you see how he's gonna sit on him and just make the tackle. So those are how you can kind of deal with some of the different types of variances that people are gonna throw at you. I will tell you just from my experience, the main person you have to worry about uh, in the gun but, or in the gun spread is the running back and the slot receiver to the wide side of the field. So as you see in this formation, I've got to worry about Lazard. If I go through all these routes and stuff, you're going to see that Lazard is really the number one threat, right, on, on really all of these. Um, if you're worried about four verticals and you want to run like cover three like this, um, the biggest thing is if you take a look here on this left side, if I try to throw this seam streak inside pass lead, that you see how it's not going to be able to happen um, because of that zone there. So what that's going to mean is, you know, I just need to be intentional about being like, okay, I just need to know going into it, like that's that's the thing I gotta watch out for, right? Uh, I might have to watch out for a short side streak. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I go to this defense and we just run it just like this, right? I want you just to watch the tight end, uh, Robert Tunyon, the X receiver right here. See how they can just pop this little seam route? That's one of the most popular things that people will do from spread. And so if you just simply, I mean, there's so many things you can do to take this away, but one of the things that you can do is just simply as a user defender, like just stand kind of like right here. And if they if they go to something like that, just, OK, 
okay, just run out there. And then you can come back down in here and, and work with this. But as you can see, this defense is pretty locked down. If you want to learn my entire nickel 335 wide defensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video for just 15 bucks. It's the best defense in the entire game. And the guide will literally walk you through step by step how you can play the best match defense, zone defense, man defense, run defense, and blitzing defense in the game. If you want the best defense, it's down in the description right now. And you can get that for just 15 bucks. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys next time.